Hi, it's just Ron Mitchie, we're playing The Hunter on PC, and today we're on Bush Rangers Run to take a look at Feral Goats. Ten brand new missions have just come out for the Feral Goats, so that's the reason Ron's here, because he thought he'd show you a simple way of getting goats without no hassle. Now, first of all, we've started at Copper Hills Lodge, and we're only a few hundred metres away from it. I've set up a goat mineral feeder and we've got a mineral block in it. These are very effective if you get them in the right spots. I will show you the coordinates when we go down to the feeder, but first, as you can see in my binoculars, we've got lots of feral goats all around. I am doing the missions as I'm recording this, but what I'm going to do is just mainly show you a short video, give you the coordinates so you can go out and just bag some goats. Some things in the hunter are not explained as simple as it could be, so I thought I'd just do a nice simple video so you can get some action without any headaches. I've got the 300 on, which is ethical for feral goats, but it's not ethical for that fox, but that fox looks like it's uh, coming straight at me. We've got over 10 feral goats near my feeder. Just looking around to see if there's any decent ones. We're just doing some objectives up the top left for the missions. I'm on the second one at the minute. That fox is coming straight on me. It does look like there's a really big uh, white feral goat. I can see, look, as you can see now, uh, it's got really long curly uh, horns. There's a few piebolds in there. They're not really rare, like other piebald species. I'd say there's probably 12, 14 goats there. So two minutes from Copper Hills Lodge. The coordinates are X equals 2363 and Y is 11661. You put your mineral block in. You can buy that with uh, GMS as well. So you don't have to pay real money if you don't need to. And it takes about 30 minutes and then you'll get goats all around it. You might not get the same as this every time, but that's just how the game is. It's, there is a certain randomness to it. If everything was fixed, they'd be boring though, wouldn't it? So that's the good thing about this game, keeps you playing. Right, there is the one I'm gonna shoot. I think that's over 300, it's a really nice one. And what we've gotta watch here is this, uh, this fox is going to come straight up on me and if that spooks, which it will do it's going to run straight over to where those goats are and probably spook them all. So what I've got to do is I'm just going to wait for a nice position to shoot the big goat. The mission I'm doing at the minute you have to collect uh, male and female goat calls and tracks. So we've just got a male one there wait for a female one now just making sure there's no other big ones there or bigger ones often the really big ones will just stay out the way but that one's not staying out of the way because it's dead <laughs> there's the fox yeah that probably would have spooked all the goats the way it's running it definitely would that's the only thing about foxes they are quite spooky, and if they run where your other animals you're after, your target animal, you're going to lose them all. You could try and bow it, but if it's a body shot, it's still going to do the exact same thing, so uh, it's not really worth shooting in that sort of uh, situation. So let's run over. I'll show you where my feeder is. We've discussed the location and coordinates. I'm just going to show you visually what it looks like, and then we'll run over and collect our big feral goat. I think it should be over 300 because it looks a good one and um, once they've got those big long handlebars, the really long ones, they're normally over 300 so I'm hoping it's over that. Right, where's my feeder? Sometimes they're hard to spot with these bushes and the little balls of grass. They are quite close now. Lots of tracks, I will collect these. It's good to click on them when there's a lot of tracks around you, build up your uh, skills, it does help. 
We are completing the objectives as we do that as well. Here's my feeder. Here's my mineral block inside. And a butterfly. <laughs> little bonus. So that's what that looks like. I'll just show you on the map where we are. That's where Ron's standing. I have got one down the bottom as well, but I'm currently just using this one because I think this is the easiest setup to do and get guaranteed results. Like I say, that's the main reason I've done this video is so anyone can get a feeder, plonk it down and get goats straight away. Goats can roam around, um, bush rangers run. So if you've got them all in one spot, it's a lot easier to do the missions this way. That's why I've got them like that. Right, where is our big feral goat? Well, that's quite a long shot. I don't think it was 200 meters, but it went far off. Oh, it's back there. <laughs> it's often the thing when you do uh, quite long shots, you overestimate where you shot it sometimes. The good uh, trick is to mark it on the PDA so you don't lose it. It's not so bad on here because there isn't too much grass. There's a lot of rocks where it could be uh, hide behind. But in uh, real dense locations like Settlers Creeks, it's good to mark it on your PDA. Right, here it is. Buried in a bush. Right. What is it going to score? It's going to score. 329 so that's a very nice feral goat so that's been me ron mctube we've been uh, doing a simple guide for getting feral goats on bush rangers run hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my youtube channels if you've got anything you want to know about the game or anything you think i could help you with drop it in the comments and i'll see what is popular and i'll make a video on it so that's all thanks for watching and bye bye